In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different ways to work with rhinestone fonts and changing the uh, font size, more specifically the, the individual circles. So let's go ahead and just type out a word here. And let's open up our font manager. And let's choose a font. So we're going to choose our athletic dense font. Now, right now, we don't know what these circles are, what size these circles are. So we could use easy stone here to specify hey I want these to be SS10 stone size and hit resize font and it would go ahead and make those uh, the size that we need if you look here you can see they are in fact 3.4 millimeters so that's the easy way if we select this font you could see it's currently roughly four and a half inches wide now maybe that will work for our purpose and maybe we maybe it won't in a situation where it won't we have a couple of options one of the options we would have would be to increase our stone size. So we could just select our text again, ch choose the next size stone up or down, either way, and hit resize font again. And now this becomes six and a quarter inches wide instead of the four and a half, but now we're using SS16 stones. And that's one of the drawbacks to using a pre-stone font like this is the actual size of the finished product is not really under our control. All we can really control is the stone size. And that obviously will have a direct impact on how large or small the design is. If we switch it back over to, um, let's go back over here to uh, two, 0.6, which is uh, the size that I use for SS6 stones, well then our wild text becomes 3.4 3 inches roughly, give or take. Okay, so those are a couple of options. Now let's go ahead and make those back over to SS16s and then let's just say I wanted this text for the, for the project I'm working on, I need it to be 8 inches wide. We could go ahead and take that text and just stretch it out so it is roughly you're eight inches wide and then if you hold your shift key and click on resize font now if I click on one of those circles you could see it's 6.13 millimeters so what we would do in that scenario we want SS16 stones so we'll hold our shift key and click on resize font and rather than actually change the font size it's just going to change the circles shift resize font and you can see what happens, the space between the circles obviously increases. We'll go ahead and change those out to 16s and we'll throw a weed box around there. And so that's kind of what it would look like. So you may like that, you may not, uh, that increased spacing. Okay, so that's basically uh, how you're able to work with the fonts here inside Easy Stone with the Easy Stone Font Manager. But uh, what I wanted to show you was something else too. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing, same word. I want to show you kind of the Corel Draw way as well, uh, just in case you're wondering. So let's show you this. Let's go back over here. We'll pick our Athletic Condensed again. What I want to show you here is the, the Corel Draw way. Um, there's all kinds of different ways of course to resize your text and get your circle sizes to the exact size that you need but one of the real easy ways to do this is to take our text we're going to convert it to curves and then we're going to right click on our text and we're going to choose ungroup all and then we're going to combine it together and then break it apart okay I know that's a lot of individual steps in there combining and ungrouping and all that monkey business but trust me there's a reason for it if you follow that procedure let me just back up here so maybe we can I'll, I'll walk you through it a little bit more specifically so let's go back to the point where we have text alright so if we look here in our object manager we have text if we convert it to curves this button right here convert to curves we have a group. If we right click and ungroup, we have two pieces. You see we have this piece and this piece. Okay, we're going to take the group and we're going to combine it together. Now we have one shape. Then we're going to right click and break curve break uh, curve apart. Now each one of these circles is an individual circle. I'm going to back up again. 
because I want to show you just one more time, we actually have a function here in EasyStone. Rather than we, we convert to curves, we uh, ungroup, we uh, combine, we break apart, you have all those individual steps, that's what this button actually does right here. It converts to curves, it ungroups, it combines, it breaks it apart. So, but we just click that one button and it gives us the same exact result. See, so having a macro definitely, definitely, definitely saves you time and, and of course the know-how. But here's the point I wanted to make. Um, uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to, again, we're going to convert to curves. We're going to right click and ungroup. We're going to combine and then we're going to break apart again. Okay, that gets us to our individual circles. But here's what I really want to point out to you. If we take one of our existing circles, you can see what size it is. It's currently 3.9 millimeters. But always on, on my desktop, I always have a calculator available to me. So rather than go with these crazy charts that you see, especially when you're dealing with lots of fonts, rather than work with them crazy charts, just know the formula. That's why, you know, when you're in school, they pressed upon math so much because there's a few times where it's actually quite useful to know various formulas. So what we want to do is take our existing stone size. We know what our ex existing stone size is, 3.9 millimeter. So what I do is I take the size I want it to be, which in my case for SS16 stones, I want a 4.8 millimeter circle, and I divide by what it is, which is 3.9. So that gives me 1.23. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is, is we're going to scale this 123%. So watch what happens. We select our design, and we scale it right here in CorelDRAW 123%. Now, if we select one of those circles, notice what size it is? 4.79, close enough. Okay, so it won't it won't be spot on 4.8, but it'll be really, really, really close. Um, and knowing that formula, which is target stone size divided by current stone size, gives us that percentage. Change that change our design percentage wise to that 123 percent. Then our stones are the proper size. All right, let's just back it up. Let's look at it from a different perspective. So our uh, it's currently 3.9. Well, let's just say I wanted those stones to be 2.6. So same formula. We take our target, which is 2.6, and we divide that uh, by our current stone sizes, which is 3.9. And on the calculator, you'll notice it tells us 0.66. So it's 66.6%. That's what it is. So we would select our design, and we would go 66.6%. And now if we select one of those circles, you could see it is, in fact, 2.6 millimeters. Okay? So whether you're scaling up or down, if you want to quickly do that without a, the use of a plug-in, that's the formula that you use. Target divided by current gives us our percentage. So it's 1.23, it's 123%. If it's 0.66 like it was in this case, well then we know it's 66%. Okay, So that's how you're able to scale. Now we do, just to show you, we do have kind of a neat function in here. Um, rather than using a calculator here in EasyStone, we would select a stone, right click on scale design, that marks the size of that stone, and then we could say, okay, make that SS16 stone size. And so when I hit scale and select that stone, you can see it's 4.8. Okay. So like I said, that calculating function is already built into Easy Stone if you have it. You just have to tell it what the current stone size is by right-clicking on scale design. Then we would select our entire design, tell it what our target needs to be which in this case we're going to set, set those back to SS10s and then hit scale and those are 3.4 for our SS10 stone sizes. So lots of shortcuts here inside EasyStone but the good old calculator on the desktop will get the job done too 
if you remember that formula. Just jot it down, tape it to your monitor. You'll never forget it. But it's quite useful. Definitely better than you know looking at some kind of crazy chart for point sizes and all that monkey business. It's just not necessary if you know that formula and uh, can calculate that real quick on your calculator. Thanks for watching.